Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 50 first round match between Singolo and his Dwarves and Magikarp Red and his Chaos. Uh, so it's a bit of a tricky match for Singolo, obviously. Uh, he's, da he's got a Wizard um, and that's all. And in the... Oh no, it's not all. Well, he's got two stars as well. He's got a Wizard, Boomer and uh, Barrack Fireblast. And he's made an instant Kaz, glorious, rolling like Singolo. And in the booth with me is Moridam. Hello! Hello. And Skurometso. Hello, everyone. How are we doing? And Skurometso. Hello, Skuro. How are we doing today, folks? I just, uh, I needed to chime in because this, uh, well, this, uh, <laughs> this match is going out to our special country of the day. And today <laughs> it is going out to the 6 million people, 6,031,200 people. That's the 113th ranked population in the world. And that, of course, as we all know, is the country with the capital city of Ashgabat. Jimmy, what country is that? I've got no idea. <laughs> it's Turkmenistan. So oh, we're going to have ourselves is. a red rose, the national flower of Turkmenistan, and we're going to slip on down some Ishleki, the national dish, and enjoy <laughs> some Blood Bowl between two uh, Turkmenistani natives, I think. <laughs> do, you, do you think... <laughs> <laughs> wow, apparently uh, Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan really riding the, the crowd in chat today. No love for Turkmenistan given, and that is unfortunate because we've got a lot of Turkmenistanani, Turkmenistani, Turkmenistani, Turkmenistani sounds right. Turkmenistani viewers for this matchup. Yeah. Turkmenistan sounds like if I had asked my dad to make up a country <laughs> in, in Europe, and he would just be like, ah, Turkmenistan, yeah. But, they, well, uh, I got bad news for both you, your dad and you, but Turkmenistan is not, in fact, in Europe. Well, you know, I tried. Maybe, I tried. maybe you could go with Eurasia. Maybe you could call Eurasia. it Eurasia. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to say you can go with Uranus. <laughs> Uranus. But I, I, I've, always, I've always felt like Eurasia is a cop-out because that's basically like... You know, forty percent of yeah. the planet's <laughs> yeah. landmass. Like. Listen, you of all people should know, uh, Cyril, that the, the, uh, the United States education system has done me no favors. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> uh, you're, you're, so you're going to tell me there isn't a big uh, Turkmenistani uh, immig immigrant community in uh, Detroit? Is that is that is that what we're hearing here? Man, there's not even a community in Detroit. <laughs> yeah, <shit. laughs> fair enough. Yeah, it's just one big purge. <laughs> yep, if you're lucky. All right, well, yeah, that's this, I thought enough you should have rerolled that. That was just an instant <laughs> yeah. dice in the ball, and he got the pow. And he's put him yeah. in the sideline. And he's piling But he's got that armor up to keep him safe, and it does. Uh, maybe not against the piling on. He could have just been one square back as well and been safe. Yeah. Like, he didn't have to be that close. Yeah, that was a bit wild. Um,. Very wild from Singolo. He's got his. So, yeah, to look at the team, Singolo's got loads of guard. He's got a guard on like literally everybody except the uh, runner and the troll slayer. And uh, Magikarp Red hasn't got the best Chaos team, but you know, he's got some claw mighty. Obviously, he's got the claw, full claw pummer there. And he's got a very nice uh, Edge 5 blodger, which is pretty cool, isn't it? And there's Kirk Menasaur I like a J5. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> the only wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> there are no wrong answers. I mean, oh, wait, are. no, this isn't school. There's a lot of wrong answers. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of fucking wrong answers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah, that's, that was a... You've got to feel that was a terrible mistake from single one. Yeah. But he's kind I, of I got away with it. I thought he was my favorite. I thought his, he was my favorite to win, that, especially after that you know, instant first cast, but... That was a really bad play. Yeah, he's oh, kind of got away from it. He's just got his entire uh, very slow-moving dwarf team uh, across the uh, LOS with the ball back like it, like he forgot to retrieve it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he could... I had five right there. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is horrendous. He's kind of got away with it though, Jim. Yeah, he <laughs> could do a GFI with an edge two up. guy to pick it up. Oh, oh no. What do you know? Mm -hmm. Well, the H5 can just pick it up and fuck off. Yeah. He doesn't need well, I mean, the, anything. Yeah, yeah, the H5 doesn't want to risk the 1D with his horns there, so 2D, actually. 
Well, he can just call. What I mean is, he can just call yeah. somebody and just yeah. and just leave that guy. It doesn't matter what he's gonna do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The one guy that can blitz the ball when it gets picked up doesn't have tackle. So you can't. <laughs> you can't anyway. actually blitz a blodger without tackle. So you know. It's true. It's not, it's not allowed. <laughs> I think. I think genuinely, I would just blitz with Clawpom. Mm. Honestly, I might blitz and pick up. At the you same are, in time. fact, a banger, though. So. Uh, yeah, I am well known as a greedy banger, but no, I mean, Clawpom's just too powerful. You know, like it's just literally too powerful. Yeah. Just Clawpom this guy. You can pick it up, go over, go there, and then you can uh, double G if I to tag the guy anywhere, right, and put these guys around and stuff. So yeah, I, I quite like. I quite like just making the Clawpom. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good point. Where are where are Singola's blitzers? He doesn't take them, man. He's the, uh, he just doesn't take them ever, or no. they're not like they're dead and or missing the game. He just oh, never geez. takes them. They're, they're, that, that's the Russian build. There's, there's no fucking blitzers, and it's mental. Uh, like I cannot get behind. Yeah. I cannot ever get behind no blitzers. Like How Artemis does... tends to call his build of you know like well, which is the same as PC's build of like you know. A runner, a troll slayer, and two blitzers. The Russian build, but it's not. The Russians don't take fucking blitzers yeah. at all. It's mental. And it, and it's funny because like yeah, the last thing, the last thing PC would want on his fucking team is a is is a slayer. He only uses it to get it blitzed. <laughs> <laughs> he <laughs> still just generally he... have one though, doesn't he? He does. Generally yeah, yeah, yeah. Decoy like, octopus. The, the the one slayer. There's arguments for it, right? Because it it forces them to stay a little farther from the sidelines, but. I wouldn't take it, a, and I wouldn't take a Slayer and then not take Blitzers, though. Yeah, it seems crazy to me not take Blitzers. Like it's so good. Yeah. A Blitzer is just so good. I mean, just the Edge three alone is kind of necessity. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, does the dodge tag I, glorious? I think I would GFI once. No, uh, he did. Oh, no, he took Yeah. Yeah. I think I would have GFI just so you couldn't free up the uh, the long beard there to tag and then get two dice with the Slayer. But there goes yeah. the wizard. Doesn't Close kill it. the Edge Five though. That would have been that would have been a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, <laughs> sunshine for Singola if he'd also gotten the removal there. But he's not in a much better situation now. He just doesn't have a wizard. Yeah, no, this yeah. isn't. This I mean, he had to do it, but yeah, he had to do it. <laughs> he, he had to do it. D did he? Or did you just accept you lose on your offense to hope to wizard him on your defense? Yeah, wow. yeah good show. Because like yeah. he's not recovering that ball. Like who, who's but, like, picking that ball up? But like against that level of kill team, like you might not have the chance in the second half. I don't. I don't because like there's no now. there's no stopping an eight turn stall here either. There's one player back that could pressure the, oh, the yeah, beast no. man and then all. But, but like, what does he do to get the ball here? Does I guess what blitz with the Slayer now? Oh God! And then try to pick up and <laughs> and then lose it, and then yeah, and then the yeah, it's a good point. Yeah, just save the second right? half. Yeah. 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 I guess if I was going to do that, I would have. Well, can it was the one, two, three. Four. I mean. He has a tackle zone. Sure, it's based by, you know, a higher strength guy that can instantly toot. Oh, he gets the pickup. He had the tackle zone on the ball, so the ball was perfectly safe. There was no way the edge five was getting it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's making loads of removals. If only he hadn't been a complete maroon and let his yeah. ball get blitzed, yeah. he would have dominated this drive. Three, three kills and a Kaz. Like, he would have smashed this drive if he'd... Uh... If he just not not let his ball get hit for no reason, and it's still an easy two dice on him with the edge five guy as well. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Jeez. Wow. Well, this is how you score. This is how you score if you're the dwarves on your recovery, I guess. Yeah, going for the kills. Yeah, just remove half the team. Mm. How many guys are left on the pitch for Magic Art? Like six. <laughs> Uh, three, six, yeah. Jesus Christ. Wow. Jesus Christ. Still, still, the dwarves are kind of fucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're about to lose the ball. Yeah. Well, yeah, about ball's going to get lost. Edge five's going to pick it up again. Mm. Jesus. This reeks of an armor break. No, no break, no break, but... Easy ball retrieval. 
Well done, well done, Fimea. What a gift. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Dougie. Yeah. Wow. Fucking lucker dog, Nick. <laughs> Have you seen that clip yet, Jim? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was, it was <laughs> glorious. <laughs> He's so good at football. I mean, no one can stop him. No, it's just not possible. I mean, I've stopped him several times in the SFL. <laughs> I, I've beaten him twice in the playoffs to get a championship, and I lost to him once and got the championship anyway, so, you know. There's that. No, there's a new one today, if I'm here, of uh, I'm, so good this, I'm So Good at Blood Bowl song. <laughs> uh, yeah. It was his theme, it's his new theme song. <laughs> 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 yes, and when and and when Perivale says perfect, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see what I didn't see the play that set it up. I just I just saw the the result, the song. Uh, well, what 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 he actually means to say is absolutely fucking terribly. <laughs> 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 no, no offense, Kadenik. <laughs> so it does seem like the uh, Slayer pickup was not enough to save uh, this uh, wizard effort to recover for the dwarves here, and now, pretty sure this one's over. Yeah, he's yeah. out of range, so he, all he can do is base with tackle. He could five plus. Five Ooh. plus. Oh wait, what's this? What? Oh, oh that was no. the ball carrier. I thought that was the ball carrier. Movement. No, why would you? You made it <laughs> easier for normal. him. It's easier yeah, now. Let's surf you yeah. Now. yeah. What is this? This is no. <laughs> it's not what oh. I would have done. No, I, mean, I wouldn't. Reroll, I guess. It's. Oh God. Oh no, it's because that stops the the guy coming down. But he's he can't blitz anyway. Can't blitz anyway. Yeah, you can't reach. You can just base him. Oh no, he based the edge five. That, that guy's only a threat if if he dodges off. If, right, if he's used as an assist, but like, yeah. Now he can just cancel instead, and then, and then dodge out. Play. It's a four plus two plus two plus to surf this guy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, you got to go for it. I mean, you could even get yeah, the assist yeah. if you want for the first hit. It's it's the best he had. I mean, otherwise it was a five plus six plus. Yeah, like, yeah. That the other is... side. It's madness from Magic Outright, isn't it? Former CCL I mean, you, finalist, of course. You could no, even winner, consider. Yeah, winner, he would. Would you? Would you? Would you consider surfing the Palmer and basing just to? I mean, force the score and hopefully give you enough time to score in response, though. Yeah, maybe Singolo maybe. does like to bang people out, and that is yeah. just the, the uh, he, guaranteed getting the getting him that's off. That's the thing. Well. Isn't that bad? Is it? The one thing he has the advantage on right now is players. So if he forces the edge five to score. Uh, because there's no one to guard the edge five, you might have a chance to three turn. Is, though, you know? yeah. The removals are KOs, aren't they? Because this uh, this Kaz yeah, was yeah, yeah. so in permanent injuries, Singolo's down. But it's just so I guess yeah. Yeah, he's going to do that. He's going to oh oh that was the problem that you have to do it first, and then now you haven't got a roll for the dodge. I don't know if it was worth it or not. Now I think you definitely surf the Palmer. No, you don't. <laughs> well, you know you don't well, have a <laughs> I was on a little delay there, but... <laughs> <laughs> you do the old gym surf, no problem. <laughs> yeah. Wow. All right, there you go. Sorry, I forgot to share my screen. It's on now. That's fine. I'll turn it on, hopefully, only to realize that it's unwatchable. <laughs> So I guess you just uh... because I can hear the game slightly ahead of when my replay is, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I can I can tell if there's an armor break or not on a block. Nice. So here we go. Is the palm, which isn't a palm, and then I guess he just dodges to score, doesn't he? And and that works out great for him because he gets his uh, gets his KOs back. He might even get a second, seeing as he's got two rerolls and singolo has got none. <laughs> yeah, good. And because there's two players out for Singolo, you'll have to field uh, Barrick Farblast for only three turns. So, yeah, the score in this turn is actually brilliant. Oh, God, well. what, what a mistake from Singolo. Either, you know, 
you know, the ball carrier, as you say, could have just been one square back and then he's okay. Or he could have re-rolled that hit because, like, I couldn't believe when he didn't re-roll it. It was like, but you've got to re-roll that. Yeah. But yeah, he could have just he could have just played better and wouldn't have had to re-roll it, I guess. Well, all three stayed out. Unbelievable. Mm, yeah, so this could be uh, saving grace for Singola. He's got a half a chance, hasn't he? Uh, it's going to kick into Sun, and then uh, all the KO guys are going to get up for the next half, and there's not going to be a single dwarf on the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think the, the dwarves have a chance here up players, though, at minimum. if they Even if they don't score, they might get more people off the pitch. So mm. yeah, he, he does have sure. Barrack Farblast, who's got, like, you know, Hail Mary pass and stuff. So, <laughs> you know, not affected by the... By the uh, by, the very sunny, and he's got strong arm as well. So you know, maybe maybe Barry could actually, you know, get the ball, deliver it to the edge forerunner. He might actually do that. Yeah, it's not a bad play. I mean, no one else is going to pick it up. I guess you either what, you either put Barrick or yeah, with the very sunny, yeah, you probably just pick up Barrick. Yeah, because you know, like three turns is hard for dwarves. So you know you can't really afford to just have this guy at the back, and then the ball goes here, and he goes and picks it up, and then does what with it? <laughs> like, it's just yeah, kind of, yeah. it's fucking it's fucking terrible, isn't it? Like, so I guess you ha you have to pick it up with Barry. And Magic Harp doesn't have uh, players to cover the entire back right now. Yeah. Probably is the play, or at least a play, right? Depending on where the kick goes. Yeah. God. Ant 5 Beastman's pretty amazing though, isn't it? Holy shit. And uh, dodge. And sure hands. Incredible. Oh, he gets a reroll. That's ab absolutely huge, I think. But goddamn, do I hit? No. Do I hate no blitzers? God. Yeah. Yeah. No blitzers, one runner, right? Yeah. Does that despair? God damn. Yeah, I don't like that. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> you just, you've just only got one player who can pick the ball up. Yeah. With any sort of consistency. Yeah, and like. And it, you know, the door, the run, the blitzers are great. They've got plus move, plus edge, and okay, they lose tackle, but like it's so good for 10k. Move and edge for 10k, and they keep strength access. Like, oh yeah, they're they're great. Yeah, it's basically like no if you reason. could if you could replace all of your long beards with blitzers, you would do it. <laughs> mm, well, I don't know if you play. I think you'd keep oh. three for like the LOS and stuff, and for having. Tackle. Oh, true. Sure, yeah. But yeah, the the blitzers are great for sure. The blitzers are great. Like, they're only 80k, aren't they? Yeah. Four. But, they're kind of, I don't know, they're kind of worse than Orc Blitzers, aren't they? Because Orcs have got the movement instead of Thick Skull. Yeah, that's not a fair comparison, though, because like, Orc Blitzers are really good. They yeah. are really good players. Yeah. Butter. Butter. Like fucking butter. <laughs> it's amazing how much you, you fucking sound like that ginger fucking comedian Bill Burr, isn't it? Old Bill Burr. Yes, yeah, sometimes when when like when you put put the accent on, boy, how do you sound like him? <laughs> the key to the Boston accent is that everyone that does it is faking it. Only like, <laughs> no one who actually talks with the Boston accent is ever listened to by anyone. <laughs> so anyone doing it is also faking it because I don't really have that thick of Boston accent <laughs> unless I like either like slip and get angry or drunk or <laughs> am forcing it yeah. around around family tends to be where my accent is stronger yeah, well, my family none of them had an accent so like my dad was from northern Vermont so he had more of a oh, Yankee yeah. accent than he had a Boston accent Bass. <laughs> Dwarf but yeah, when I get lazy get with it, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I think Dwarf Blitzers get even worse, right? Because Dwarf Blitzers, I think, go up to 85. I think. Or, or do the runners go up to 85? Something's gone up for Dwarves, like, by 5. I can, I can check, right? Let's see. 
Mm. It's, it's very little difference, but some maybe the maybe the slayers. Some something definitely has gone up. I think maybe it's the winner. I'm not sure about the bloody Black Orc, uh, well not Black Orc, so the Biggins being move 5, that's a bit... That's uh, a bit runners weird. are 85 and Troll Slayers are 95. Oh, so there you go, so everyone but the Blitzers went up. <laughs> no, that's that's fine, isn't it? Like the, the run is still worth 85, but I guess it makes the Troll Slayer a bit less, a bit less good. Yeah. Especially with the you know, lack of piling on, so the the Slayer can't make himself as safe as he used to. Yeah. Predictable is the word I would have used, Kinroth. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't say it's wild. <laughs> it's literally what we all expected, I think. <laughs> like he's got nothing here, has he? Like there's not he can he can block this guy and then just blitz Tate or then he gets claw pond. Like he's already just blitzed, so he can't even blitz Tate or so what the hell does he do? Just Tate O's downfield and Gets then, the, then just lobs it. Yeah. He just needs to leverage all of his edge three move five guys. He does, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. That's exactly what he needs to do. <laughs> he has to double GFI with this guy, so he's got another scoring threat. That's what he has to do. Oh yeah, okay, so he's just in range. He's already moved the Oh yeah, so he can't even lob it this turn. Needs another GFI here. He's just gonna get pushed back. Yeah, I think it's better to go here, right? Because I believe he just gets he gets pushed back. Whatever happens. Okay, so by doing this hit, that stops. Well, that doesn't stop anything. I'm pretty sure I would have done one more GFI with the runner. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Either that or I would have done a GFI with the long beard so that you couldn't hit him from the front. One, I, two, I mean, three. definitely would have done that too, yes. Yeah, I think he had another one, didn't he? Yeah, he had, he had to get, he had to do that, yeah. Yeah, he had to get. Because now he can just push, well, he can't push him away because he got the, he got the thing in the pylon, so now he actually can't be pushed back, can he? Nope. Um, Not easily. Well, maybe, maybe from this direction. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. No, he can't fit. Oh, I guess the H5 could just dodge in there, but not realistically. He'd have an okay chance here if it wasn't for the sun, actually. Yeah. Why is Moridon with Tall and Skuro? Because I didn't really care too much. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, let me. I'm, I'm standing on a box, is why. And uh, <laughs> Skuro's crouched on his knees. That's the reason why I am best from my knees. <laughs> well, I think we're the same height, Skuro, right? Like 5'8? Yeah. yeah. I, I definitely can say I'm 5'8 and only kind of be embellishing. <laughs> There's like Five a few little. Issues. There's a few of those little useless tick marks that we have on rulers. The between me and five eight, but uh, they don't really matter. <laughs> Jesus. Like, but like, if I said I honestly though, if I if I lie and say I'm five eight, is that worse than being like I'm five seven and five eights? <laughs> 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 You know, because I'm not going to short myself, you know, five eighths of an inch and just say I'm five seven. Mm -hmm. Saying you're five seven and a half is just awkward. <laughs> and then, you, like, so I'd rather just, I mean, if I'm the shortest round is to round up anyway. So I'm just, I'm five eight. There you go. I round up in everything as well to the nearest inch. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why I'm two inches, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> the two inch club. 28 and a half years <laughs> old. <laughs> 512. That's pretty good. Yeah.
I just like how like when you have like when a like a family has like a baby, right? And they use months, you know, because like if it's under if it's under a year, it makes sense to use. Yeah, it's eight months old, nine months old, or whatever. But as soon as they start saying thirteen months old, I want to slap them. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, and there goes the score. Amazing. How did how did oh, wait, he see? Uh, how wait, did he, he find that play? <laughs> He can still score on the long beard. Yes, yeah, yeah. And how he does it will be a thing of legends, but <laughs> Yeah, that was it was t he had to get that an extra square forward, didn't he? He just had to. I, mean, I guess he, he has can to, like he has to GFI stall. this turn or last turn, there's no reason not to, right? Well, he didn't have to. Like, he, yeah, he was in two two GFI range, but like, he just had. To, yeah, he just had to. Yeah. I think he was scared. Did he not have a? Did he not have a reroll by that point in the ha in no, he turn? Did, because yeah, I like, he had a reroll still. Yeah. Because uh, I think he was just like yeah. in that point of being like, I'm here. I, if I if I fuck this up from this point, I can't score. But like, I don't agree with it. No, because like he'd already moved the ball and stuff, and like so. It, it was just he just had to he had to I don't know. yeah he absolutely had to yeah you say a year old you say a year old until they're a year and a half old like i my birthday's in december but i still say i'm 42 you know i don't say i'm like almost 43 <laughs> you know like i'm shortchanging myself you know 10 months but who cares <laughs> just laughing at fucking J5. <laughs> they don't have to admit that baby is stupid but not being able to roll. Oh shit, I'm 41. I'm not even 42. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he's, he's rounded up. Yeah, round up. Yeah, there we go. I'm 5'9 and I'm 42. <laughs> oh. Fucking hell. Fuck off. Single goal is incredible at rolling dice, isn't he? Holy shit. You're over 40, you sound 12. 12? <laughs> there you go. I, yeah, that, that that happens when you when you hit 40. You stop needing to care about your age. Yeah. And knowing exactly which one you're at. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Chaos himself doing the dodge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. It was a four as well, so a blitzer would have done it. <laughs> Just quietly. Just where's quietly, the, a blitzer would have Where's the Palmer at? Where's Sad Palmer? that he didn't get in the range, eh? He could, this could have been... Well, uh... the, the thing I hate about this is that he should have moved his runner back, because now, like... He could have just moved his other guys that weren't, you know, that didn't matter. Because now he can just, or double skull, uh, he can just blitz with claw palm on his runner. Basically. Yeah. Might sound a bit Artemis here, but I think single was played like shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> like this is not the stuff I usually would expect. That I mean, Magic Art Red has played really bad. To be fair. Yeah. Like, dude, you're really blitzing with him instead of him. Like, you've got a fucking yeah. claw pom tackler. Yeah. And yeah. you blitz with a and, like, and it's you ball There's no player. GFIs to hit. He could have just yeah. literally just hit him with him. That's yeah, all it that takes to discredit a coach to in, in a CCL playoff is having claw pom and it not being the one to make your blitz. You're done. Yeah. You're out. You're yeah. done. Well, you especially don't get a on, on, on a turn eight. On a turn eight, like, come on. Yeah, there's absolutely zero positional cost to Come it. Back. That is that is really, really horrendous. Unless he's minus like he's, No, he's not minus mode. No. And he's not trying to level the other player. He's like 70 SPP away. Yeah. Wow. I don't know what you mean, Steve Motti. I don't... Uh, Bill Burr, Sean Connery impression? That sounds like a terrible idea. It does, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. knowing Bill Burr, I'll, I'll know exactly what it's referring to for the Sean Connery's... <laughs> Said and done, isn't it? So yeah, let's not. But let's not do. Let's not go there, please. Uh, I guess I really don't. Uh, I I really don't know what he's talking about. I guess, but I I probably don't need to. <laughs> no. No, it's okay. I, I don't know. Singolo made one terrible mistake, but from that point on, like, what what the fuck's he supposed to do? Yeah. You know, make, make that GFI so his other guys. Yeah, so yeah, the GFI. Yeah, yeah, the GFI. He's made a couple of mistakes. Yeah. 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 
just fucking randomly bolted when he had you know, almost no way to save the ball. Could have kept it for the second half to get it from him. I think he's. I don't think he's played well. I don't. I don't know that he's. He hasn't even played better than me, and I'm not that fucking good. <laughs> having his having his blitzers available for the game instead of being like conscripted into the war probably would have helped him out too. Oops, I <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> 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 Jesus. I mean, Jim, I mean, God. Sorry. Um. Sorry, that didn't sound as bad in my head as it was vomiting out of my I apologize for my insensitivity, but we all agree. Yeah. Oh, Xander. I mean, he's rolled well, hasn't he, Singolo? Like, he's, he's you know, he, uh, Magic out Red's filled all six KO rolls that he's made. And uh, he's outcast the, he's outcast the uh, Chaos, so, you know, he's rolling well. Yeah. Yeah. You're just jealous you didn't think of it first, J5. <laughs> well, I mean, that was just so weird. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck right off with that, with that notion. <laughs> That's 8v10. So yes, Singolo could definitely turn him over and make it 1-1, and imagine how much better chance he would have had that if he still had a wizard. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, that was, that was definitely the play to hang out with, I'm sure. Oh yeah, for sure. 100% was. Maybe if his, if his runner hadn't been stunned or had, had been in range, the bolt turn, maybe it would have been worth it. Yeah, like, and then he could have not get, not get him hit with tackle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Jim, but that's fantastic. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Are we getting the vaunted Chaos Daka here? Yeah, probably out of necessity. I mean, you got an edge five. Why the fuck not? <laughs> yeah. I've done it before. Like against humans, it was the the the, uh, the American fumble version of Chunter. I can't remember his name, but um, you know, he's he's a very uh, very very aggressive and uh, can't remember. His. Woodstock is it? Could be. He, he's You're done asking the, the guy who's never opened fumble as a client in his life, right? Yeah, fair enough. But he's like he's you know he's kind of friendly with PC, and I think he did the uh, I think he did the uh, podcast with PC for a bit like the Fumble podcast. Uh, but um, I can't remember who he was, but uh, he uh, I think it was him anyway. But um, he just I was chaos and he was humans, and <laughs> he just beat the shit out of me. <laughs> I just had a dagger. I had a dagger as the chaos to hang on to the draw. Oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Five players left at the end of the match. <laughs> oh god, there's a skull no reroll. This is tricky, isn't it? Because of the punt, the punt potential it means that uh, you know, and only on only one edge three is that you know, if he if the edge three comes for the ball, well, edge four comes for the ball, then. Uh, he can punt it, can't he? But if he stays deep, then it's going to be very difficult indeed to get the ball. There we go, gets the Dauntless, relies on Dauntless to make it a 2D. So when he got two rerolls, he can't even think of rerolling this with overtime is his best possible. If you didn't do a reroll to protect the ball, you sure as shit don't reroll that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, that non reroll, but yeah, and also like ball placement before it. Yeah. Yikes. He could have just I say he could have been anywhere else. He could have been one to the left, he could have been one back. And yeah. just not been able to be hit. Yeah, it was it was really bad. Knowing that you can't, like, you're not going to reroll the both down as well. Like, is the thing you should know you're not going to reroll it because he knows he's got two rerolls, doesn't he? So he should. Yeah, exactly. So it was really bad. 
<laughs> now he just can't do much at all. Old Magic Up Red. They're both former former CCL champions, aren't they? Both of them. So you know. You won't see players like this anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. It's funny that uh, Blitzpit has only had good winners. I nearly said SFL there. That was, that was a mistake. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I mean, you you still have a chance to say SFL has only had good winners, Jim. I don't know who else has won apart from you, to be honest. Me, Try, Nick, Tom. Did Wolfbark win it? And Wolfbark, yes. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Only the best coaches have won SFL. That's exactly the right answer. <laughs> I, I can I can live with that. <laughs> Only the best coaches have won SFL. We don't need to dig down into that any more <laughs> than that. <laughs> good save, though. <laughs> Thanks. Fuck off, Fan Fox. I was waiting for some asshole just like you. I didn't know which one of the assholes it was going to be. <laughs> I guess Jimmy's rounding up. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. That's hilarious. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> we can talk about the third title I, I i i i earned it fair and square you know i had a really great season got the title oh my god details are nebulous and here's the death singolo is just like he's a motherfucker isn't he, he just, it's like absolute banger yeah yeah this kills everything like I just can't do this. It's just dice, isn't it? Like, it's not as if, like, you know, he's doing great players to sell. Like, he's doing terrible players because he could have just assisted but didn't. You know, and then uses one of his two rerolls on, like, just a fucking rando hit. Random fucking hit, yeah. Fuck That's just going to end with his, uh... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah, he has palm Just going to get a removal. But I, would have, I wouldn't have got the removal because I would have just fucking oh. assisted with him and made it two dice and then just not cast him at all and then got my fucking runner killed. But instead, he's just like, nope, no problem. Just rando. Rando removal. It grinds my gears that people can be this lucky. <laughs> bit, of just, a, bit of a hole there, Jim. <laughs> yes, a gaping hole. What do you do with this magic card? Do you, do you try to run, get through that hole or do you just run it straight back and exactly, laugh at the yeah. fact that his dwarves are all fucking movement four because there's not any blitzers and just laugh at him. Yeah, the hole is a little bit of a trap, though, because, like, you have to really extend yourself to get yourself safe through it, and you're not going to have a full cage. I, think you I mean, to. he can't make a... He, all he can do is make a full cage with all of his players involved, oh. and one of them is nowhere near. God, that's horrible. That's the absolute worst result. I mean, I, I would have definitely gone for it, because... You know, you you, yeah. you can get through, right? Like it's it's yeah. double GFIs and stuff. But like you could you could have done it if you powered if you power him, if you power this yeah. guy, and then like you can just make like eight GFIs to get up and through, and then then it's amazing because then you then you can just run out yeah. with, with with dodge and you you you're good. Yeah. But, um, that Instead, was... that it's gonna be a dead beastman, like not not KO'd, not like Kaz. <laughs> that is a dead beast. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. And <laughs> yeah, now he's just gotta turtle up and hope he can outlast with three <laughs> fucking players. He might be able to. It's gonna take the dwarves two turns to even basically yeah. base mm -hmm. in the back. He can just sit in the corner and pray. Yeah. Oh, he's not doing the surf. Dave O would have surfed this guy, wouldn't he? Or at least attempted to. He could have punched him to there, then he could have blitzed him to yeah. there, then he could have blocked him there, then he could have surfed him. <laughs> but he's just going to kill him on the first block, so yes. what, what's the point of surfing? <laughs> he is, yeah. yeah. He is. I think he can't afford to leave that many guys back either. He needs to put a lot of pressure on. Yeah, just just leave the edge fall back in case it gets punted. Yeah. Yeah, we might see the very sunny punt, huh? Edge, edge five. Mm-hmm. Ooh. 
Oh, well, that might that may well see the yeah. point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Double and that uh, putting all the way down there. That palm, that palmer too, could one d blitz and dodge to get into the into the backfield too. Mm. I mean, uh, you don't do it this turn, right? Anyway, because you can yeah. you want to suck him onto you more. Four. Yeah. Four. <laughs> uh, He's already champing at the bit. <laughs> and uh, I guess you could you could do a four plus dodge into a two d, couldn't you? And then that lets you get the warrior out. Yeah, I also didn't really know what Jim said there, Kinroth, but I was going to let that one go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Drawing Monty is what I meant, but then I was like, suck. <laughs> yeah, Sucks no, better, I get it. it. You got me and Moradam in the booth with you. It's hard to not think about sucking. <laughs> yeah. Take that how you will. <laughs> it's true no matter how you take it. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think we might be seeing the uh, premature uh, ball ejaculation here. <laughs> Oof. Uh, can he might be able to stall another round here, right? He yeah, I think he I think he has to because then that makes the, it yeah. just makes the punt that more much more devastating, doesn't it? So I think you have to yeah. you have to try and stall. Yeah, I, I don't think anyone can even base if he goes back to the sideline. But like, okay. singol has got to know he's got to punt. Like it's the only thing he's got left. He's got to oh, put yeah. the edge four back yeah all he has to do is just go into the left corner now and yeah no one can reasonably get to him or there that works as well he can get based with two gfis but he's edge five mm. oh oh cheeky canary threat Kind of warrants. Yeah, you don't need to punt, you can just pass it to him now. Could really use HMP, yeah. Yeah, at, at this point, HMP would be amazing, obviously. Dai will be sitting there, <laughs> drinking his fuel, going, Yes, now you understand. <laughs> but just because, you know, HMP is good in like one every 50 games doesn't mean it's worth ever taking, does it? Especially as, uh, well, I guess it's chaos, but you know, especially if you have a star player who just has it like dwarves. Mm. Oh man, where do you go with the edge four? It's horrible. I guess you have to pull him back. Oh no, he's gone forward. Oh no. So I mean, you yeah, definitely just pass to that beast man now, then, eh? Possibly we can get to him. He can reach to him. Maybe not though. Maybe you still just pass on the left. Just run up and throw it because there's nobody over there. That's good because he's got. Tackle. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's actually hard to get through there. Well, you I mean, could now, you could just blitz and run five, right, and then and then throw it oh, down yeah. the side. Yeah, but, that's, but that's yeah, true. I think that's the thing is you could either dodge with the beast man or blitz with the palmer and throw it to them, and then you're still punting. But if you get lucky, it might end up in their hands. Yeah, yeah that's true. You yeah, but blitz yourself free. But like, and... I, this is the turn, I think. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Oh man, yeah, he could have dodged Blitz the runner, that would have been pretty good. Oh, actually, yeah, you didn't need to dodge, you just bl double, yeah. Blitz, of course, that's way better. Yeah, he goes up there, and you just huck the ball at his general direction, and uh, probably win the game, because there's no mm -hmm. one to retrieve the ball. Yeah. Man, if only the dwarves had access to more than one positional of edge three. <laughs> yeah. I know, it's so, that's so weird. I know, it's crazy. I could have swore they had, like, at it's least not... uh, four total that they could take. It's not even a long yeah. bomb for an edge five. Oh. No, the, 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 sun, uh, the sun costs the sun. him. Oh, no. no, no. <laughs> not like this. 
still going to be kind of hard for the dwarves, though. Like, okay, the runner is in range of the ball. The runner's in range, yeah. Yeah, he's got four turns. They got turns. four turns. This they've is... got four turns, though, yeah. Yeah, they've, yeah. they've pretty I... much got it. As stupid as it is, I think Magikarp deserved to win this. Not because he did much that was right, because Singolo did way more that was wrong. Yeah, Sing <laughs> Singolo took a winning position and made it a desperate losing position, which is saying something. Mm, twice, kind of. <laughs> well. Yeah, it's definitely going to overtime, Parabell. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's a chance that it doesn't, but not a great one. Yeah, it's looking really. I mean, this Edge 5 is still hard to contain, so, like, do you foul him now or what? Yeah. I guess you just so rely on Blodge. The okay. score threat Beastman is in range of that runner currently. Now he's not. Do Bliss goals. Oh my god. Singola's dice have <laughs> been hit or that. miss, though. Yeah, they've been pretty good. But he's only got two yeah. rerolls, hasn't he? So, in a, and he's been well, not. Like, not he does out. reroll it! Yeah. <laughs> He didn't have to re I guess if he didn't, one. he could have gotten he could have gotten the ball blitzed on a dodge. So fair enough. Yeah, yeah it's funny, but isn't no, it? no, no re rolls for a game that he has to win through overtime. So you yeah. know, that's the thing. It's funny because in in the first half he didn't re roll when he absolutely had to, and then the second half he did re roll when he didn't absolutely have to. So now he's out. Yeah. And it's like it's just weird, but like how he's done it. Overcorrection, maybe. Maybe just stay down at this point, too, if you're chaos. Yeah, just claw palm something. Yeah, and yeah. yeah claw palm this anything, guy, yeah. maybe, or this guy. Um, actually, you might I, be able to... I'd uh, probably claw palm the guard mighty up on the line of scrimmage, just so I'm not near more dwarves that are going to hit me back. Well, I would think maybe this one, rather than... Did, the guard mighty, you think? I think this one, because then you're like way further away, right? Because you can hit. Oh yeah, 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 the stand firm. Yeah, the stand firmer is fine too. Yeah. Well, if he doesn't want to give up, he could have blitzed the uh, or just guard, right the in. guard mighty on the corner don't, of your edge, or here. just don't blitz anyone. That, that, yeah. that, or just with, blitz with, with this fucker. With oh, my bomb. God. <laughs> All right, no, I it guess... wouldn't have been. It wouldn't have mattered if it was clumped. Well, I guess he could have piled on. He could have piled yeah. on, yeah. And then so he would be standing up to die to the the dwarves next turn. Mm. Like if you're gonna blitz with the guys down here to free him up, if you if you want to blitz a dwarf down here, you clearly you blitz the guard mighty on the corner of the edge guy, so he can just two plus dodge out. Yes. And then you just dodge off the other guys. If you want to put on some kind of defense, which you shouldn't, because you're getting fucking banged out. But, but then he's got no rerolls, so you know. Um, he does have no rerolls. Yeah. If you can, if you can, if you can just base the ball. <laughs> Singol has already like rolled like loads of skulls this game, so if oh, you can yeah. just base the ball, maybe something will go wrong. His black dice have made up for the fact that everything he touches is a removal. <laughs> A little bit. But, uh... So you definitely blitz the claw palm, although actually he's not hes not really hitting with the claw palm, so it's not as scary, but I mean, surely, surely you will yeah. blitz the claw palm. I don't know, if you blitz the... I guess, yeah, he's had enough dwarves that can center up. Okay. I'm not. <laughs> what? I'm not sure that that's the man I would have moved first, though. For the... <laughs> no, he has. This guy could have assisted. This is very strange. It's just Ooh. like it's just like it's probably gonna be fine. But like, why open yourself up to this shit? We talked about this in the other game too. Like, mm. it's just like there's no reason for your ball carrier to be basing the claw palm tackler as the assist for this. <laughs> no, when you have no rerolls. Yeah, but no problem. You'll get an armor break. Eh, no worries. Like, like it was never not gonna work out. But like, <laughs> there's just no reason to do it. Like, what, imagine so if I... he had rolled another pair of dub skulls, like he has. Yeah, exactly. So many times, like it's just game over. 
I mean, the edge, yeah, the, the edge five has a one D here pretty easily on the ball. Yep. But it's a one D on a blodger, like who cares? But still, it's one D more than I would want to yeah, have. Yeah, your ball should not be getting hit without a cage dive right now. He's not going for it. Yeah. You could have done this 1D, right? You could have either dodged to make it a 2D or just 1D. And then on a push, you could have come around with this guy. Like, could have gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, couldn't he? And, like, however, maybe it's a different angle if you wanted. Um, now, now he seems to be giving up the pen. And then 1 d with tackle is, isn't bad at all, is it? Yeah. I feel like we've seen a lot of questionable chalice games, this, this oh. chalice. J5 relinquishing the high ground. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I knew that wouldn't take very long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the first round, though, isn't it? But I mean, this is this has been surprisingly bad due to them, you know, both having won before. <laughs> yeah, like Singolo and Magikarp aren't bad coaches. <laughs> no, no, just a couple of bad mistakes from Singolo, I think. And yeah. then lots of strange moves from Magikarp. <sighs> he can surf here, can't he? Yeah, can and probably should. Yeah. Get, well, if, if he can get the ball safe first, which he should be able to. That is an idea, isn't it? <laughs> it's uh, it's crazy. Thank you for not seeing the second part of that comment, Jeff. Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, yeah. It almost full me cube too to protect the ball. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah, yeah. This guy can go for to there. This guy can go for to there. On death. This guy goes there. This guy goes there. Ball goes there, and then you use the blitz and surf. Brilliant. Come on, you could have done it five minutes ago, single. <laughs> Has he lost connection? He's trying to think how he can maximize his hits at the same time as uh, <laughs> all this while putting the ball with a chance to be hit. Did he move the full movement on that? Okay, yeah, he did. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty, this is pretty shit, isn't it? So it's all right. This is this is fine. He says J five. <laughs> we all knew what you were talking about. Come on, man. <laughs> Fucking hell. God damn. And everything, everything the dwarf touches. Yeah, he's just removing everything, isn't he? It's unbelievable. And then six KO fails so far. At least he'll get two more chances at these five. Oh no, he won't. He'll only get one chance, of course. Yeah. Alert! Alert! He has used claw palm. Oh boy, boy, howdy. Singola no. hasn't used his apple, has he, whereas Magikarp has, so he only gets one shot at these KOs. He snaked the piling on. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, J5. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Banter. No re-rolls, so I guess now it's definitely a score, yep. Let's see how many cares we have for overtime and who wins the toss. He gets three out of five, look a dog. <laughs> so three out of eleven total. And he wins the toss.
Wow, what a turnaround. Four, five, six, seven, eight players. I guess what, like ten? ten. Jesus. So it's basically the same as the, uh, almost exactly the same as the start of the second half in which he got turned over and scored on turn eight. But <laughs> <laughs> this time, Singolo's got no re rolls and Magikarp's still got two, and he can score at any time, so he might just try and, like, barrel down a wing as fast as he can, eh? Yeah. I mean, I would have done that in the second half. I would have just tried to score as quick as you can. Being up 2 up two zero against Dwarves is huge. Yeah. Not that he had much of a chance. I mean, seeing Gobo's dice in the second half, just smashing the shit out of him. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's a good question, uh, since in 935... Um, I could look into one million possible futures and I would never take plus AV instead of plus move on a run. <laughs> <laughs> that's, for, that's for damn sure. Yeah, I didn't even consider the fact that he's plus <laughs> AV on that runner. Oh, yeah. I mean, he could easily just barrel right through the <laughs> the AV8 Troll Slayer here if he wanted to. Yeah, I think he, I think maybe he should as well, you know, because it's yeah, it's, it's gonna be tough for him. Oh well, he's not going to. Oh, he sleeps through that. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, look he's... at the fucking ball, dude! <laughs> yeah. It's bait I mean, the, the only hope here is the touchback, but then, like, all of his players are on that side anyway. Like, if they're on the other side, then Singolo would actually have to worry about it. Yeah. Oh, God, this is brutal. Could still have to worry about it. Could be the overcommit. I like it, isn't it? It's like 3 it's out of 16. Like, yeah. It's 3 out of 16, and he has to not catch the ball. Yeah. It's like or 3 out of 8. Yeah, it's, it's very unlikely. Yeah. If it does, though, then there's a chance. Yeah. Oh, God, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but is he going to get the 3 and 16, or is he just going to... Oh, no, no, it's not 3 and 16. It's it's a 5 plus catch, isn't it? Because of the... Uh, no, it's passing, not catching. Okay, yeah, it's so passing. Yeah, so, yeah, 3 and 16 is... Uh, is the chance? I guess slightly more because it it could go to this guy and then scatter out. But but about a three and sixteen is what is what Magic Heart Red is hoping for. I would move that last dwarf onto that Russell guy. Nope. So if it does go out, oh, you, can go you just get, you just give it to the Russell guy on the right. You blitz him free with the other. Nope, got it. Just catch it. Shit. Catch it. No problems. <laughs> I mean, you're less uh, than one in five. I, I think I think it was right to go for the you know like play what's going to be good five times out of six. Yeah. I'm more just disappointed that Singolo actually will win this. <laughs> and not, not just because he's playing dwarves. <laughs> I'm all four times out of five. Uh... Oh man! Oh ouch! And now, because he moved that guy up, he can get the uh, he can get the hit on the uh, edge five, which is very nice, isn't it? What I think, what I think is best here is to just move the runner back, and you know, just like have a proper offensive drive where like you don't have to score that soon. Do you know what I mean? Well, this is like this because this is pretty far forward, right? Like he's pretty unsupported by the rest of his team, and this is yeah, a bit I don't dodgy. Even... I don't even mind how far forward he is. I don't like how far to the middle he is. Like, at least if he went to the left a little bit, he could bring the other long beard in and kind of like screen. Like, what the fuck? What was he? How is he? What is this? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> 
<sighs> I know I still don't see because he still doesn't free that guy. Yeah. He needs a pal here in order to free the. He's actually made it worse by chaining that guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a nice boot still. Oh, not, when, not when he just gets pushed out. Not when he that. <laughs> Yes, he's now an instant 2D on the ball. Like, uh, that was the thing. Like, yep. I, I think and the idea the, was to go back last time. And with that pushing him there instead of pushing him up means that he can't even... Or no, he, okay, no, there is a there is a path there. He could double GFI to base the the dude. Yeah, but it's, he's at 5, isn't he? So it's barely an inconvenience. Yeah. It's, yeah. You're making two two pluses without a re-roll for him to... Oh, yeah. It's better to God, just it's... better to double GFI to here, right? So you've got guard defending him. It's not going to well, that that was the better play, I'm sure, to have guard because then he'd have to go one, two, three, four, five, six GFI to hit. So it's still the same yeah. two plus. But Jim, he's got him base. He can't get away from that. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> true. And then you've got another guy in the vicinity of the ball, haven't you? Which is good. <laughs> Gf five, yeah, winning, winning challenge. Both people have won challenges in this game. Not the best. It's safe to say it's not the best game that either of them have ever played. I I want him to remove the runner, and then for Singolo it's for six or seven. Oh, come on, for, yeah, yeah, for six or seven consecutive turns to roll nothing but threes on pickups after removing his runner. <laughs> yeah, for the true punish. Oh, oh. diced. Oh, you can double GFI. Yeah. Yeah, GFI, pick it up, and then GFI over it, down, back down. You cannot stay on the sideline, mate. And you no. can't, so you can't go either. You can't go right next to him, so you have to go here. Oh my god, he's just in the sideline. Oh my god. Also, I guess he's just hoping that it goes in diagonally this way, the one in three scatter he's hoping for. Yeah, because he definitely has the numbers advantage for retrieval, so. Well, yeah, but, like, he kind of does, right? If the, if the scatter goes yeah, yeah. there, then he's got, like, two fast players. But... Yeah, 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 fair enough. If he goes I still think here. I'd take my chances with uh, with the blodger. Uh... Uh, I guess he didn't have to GFI to get tackle on him. No, yeah, he's just instant. So, like, even if he'd gone back, it would have still been instant to do the tackle. Go doesn't try to power him out because he's got no reroll, so at least get the ball off. It's good, isn't it? Yep. Jesus. Alright, where's he going? Way down we go. Oh. No. No. <laughs> Basically, guaranteed pickup from Singolo now. This 4 plus. I guess you've got to think of where you can push him, don't you? I guess you've got no choice but to go there. Okay, the power's brilliant. And now if he picks this up, he's home and dry. He doesn't. But it's still almost over, isn't it? Yeah, I'll be, it's all over with the tears at this point. <laughs> yeah, because you can, what, just barely base the ball? Yeah, one, two, three, GFI, GFI, Kaz. But then you can probably get Blitz. And... Oh, God. Oh, yeah, yeah, I could just Blitz the... Blitz the runner and then hope they fail three, six, four pluses. <laughs> Damn your excitement. <laughs> this is two days in a row him. where I've had like four hours sleep. I'm absolutely shattered. Oh my god, he's ASK. He's going for it as well. Yeah. Come on, kill him. Kill this little fucker. Plus armor not helping him versus the claw pom. <laughs> Come on, pile on. 
pile on. Do it, you bitch. <laughs> you bastard. It's not gonna do it. Tragedy. Hey, he's oh, done it. He's doing it. Ah, oh. oh, robbed. Good, good lad. Though at least he tried. Yeah, I mean, if you, you're not gonna win the game, but maybe you can kill his only edge three piece or edge four piece. Yes, but damn. <sighs> Hello, mm, Samich. So yeah, you can just do a four. Now, if he makes the four plus, he's one. Yeah. I mean, a four plus is basically impossible. So. Yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> Well, I didn't see, I didn't see Savage had been here, but you know, when I say I like Jimmy Fantastic, then I know it. <laughs> Genius is Nick, the thinking of that. <laughs> Four plus pickup, easy mode for uh, the Beastmen uh, there to dodge out and get to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Three plus, four plus, or three plus, two plus, nice four plus. Nice blitz, mate. Where'd you get it? The shit blitz shop. And you could, you could go out and at least try and pick it up. Yeah, we might as well. I think, yeah, I think you might as well. The, the, what's going to happen is going to bounce into the hands of the fucking... <laughs> the, oh, oh, my God. 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 Skuro. No. <laughs> no, Skuro. Skuro just calls the one in 24, exactly. Brilliant. If only I had any other use for these powers. <laughs> uh, why couldn't you call the opposite? Why couldn't you call that he picks it up and just bombs it? Because that's it that was never gonna happen. <laughs> why? It was, on, it was on Dimmy G as well. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> the dwarf was called Dimmy. Amazing. For fuck's sake. Was it Dimmy or Dimmy G? Because one Dimmy of them G. superior. Oh, okay. Dimmy underscore G. The inferior Dimmy. Oh bad. Well, okay. there you go. Yeah, sorry, I was mid yawn there. I couldn't, <laughs> couldn't wrap it up. Uh, that was that was a match and a half, wasn't it? Unbelievable. Eighteen AV breaks for a uh, single or five cars, five KO. Yeah. Well, well, listen, they don't get a lot of blood bowl in Turkmenistan, so uh, you know, this is the reason why. Thirty-eight <laughs> percent wake ups. It was brutal, wasn't it? Absolutely brutal. 95% um, dodge as well. Holy shit. There you go. But, uh, I mean, it was entertaining, wasn't it? You know, even though I mean, neither yeah. of them, yeah, you know, played their best, but it was, it was, it was a good game. So there you go. Commiserations, Magic Cap Red. Congratulations, Singolo. Thank you very much. Skuromezzo and Moradam, absolutely glorious as always. Yep. <laughs> yep. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>